Greeting my fellow lovers of tunes and welcome back to another reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now it's been a while since we did any voice play videos. Um, the last time I think I've heard of them or that I knew about them was when Jainan left to go and serve which is so sad. They've lost so many members. I, I was actually so heartbroken to see the group slowly coming apart but amazingly there is a new member now, Caesar, which I as I understand it is a baritone. I'm very excited to hear how he adds to the group and how the chemistry is going to be. So I thought we'll start off with a new one, not the brand new brand new one, but one of the newer songs, If I Were a Rich Man Slash Girl. And they have someone called Ashley Diane. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Um, singing along with them, which I don't think I've ever heard of her before. Maybe I have and I just don't realize it, but very excited about it. It's good to be back with all of these amazing artists and I, I really wanted to do voice play again as well and see just what happened in that group, how they are faring and how everything is going. And also, I see that they reached a million subscribers, well, as of recording this 1.01, .01 which is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy for them. I'm not sure if this happened while I was gone, which is an amazing achievement, but I'm very happy for them. They really do deserve this. But without any further ado, let's just dive right into it. If I was a rich man, na 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 All day long and bitty bitty bum If I was a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard if I were a bitty bitty rich, idle idle diddle diddle man. Well, I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen, right in the middle of the town. Fine tin roof with real wooden floors below. Man. 
You know, it took me a few minutes to recover from what just happened. Because I, I'm still not sure what happened. I was enjoying the heck out of that song. And it's it's actually so, so amazing. So amazingly good. These guys really have just nailed it once again. And I have to say that Caesar coming to this group, he is such a good addition to this this group's vibe and chemistry and feel and he has such a good energy that he brings to it as well just looking at him while they perform is so fun the way that he dances and smiles it's just infectious you just want to smile at him the whole time it's absolutely insane and then ashley isn't there and she just has a beautiful voice such a strong voice and i've said this before with rachel as well that having a person like that who can be a soprano or I forgot the other one, it's been a while, forgive me, um, in this group is such a good addition because of the fact that Jeff can is so versatile with what he can do and they have so many strong vocals as well. It's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. They really do fit in so very well. And then our original three, I mean, Lane is there and he starts off the song with his beautiful singing and I, I, I mean... I've said this before, he has such a beautiful voice. We need to hear him sing more and more and more. And his beatboxing on this song was on point. There was literally points um, in the song where they were like doing the, the chorus parts of it and going to that whole more like a electronically electronic -y feel. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, where I'm sitting here and I'm like, it doesn't even sound like there's any voices involved. This sounds like someone is using digital equipment that's how good he is he's just absolutely insane and then you have ellie that is just as always everything that comes out of his throat or his mouth is is amazing still so smooth so powerful so strong it's absolutely amazing and then i, I left jeff for last because you know they always say you leave the best for last but i don't want to say he's the best because they all were absolutely amazing but those random little notes that he threw in the, every now and again reminded me how much I missed his voice. That deep bass, low note, growls, everything that he does is absolutely astonishing. And then you just get like chills all over your body. And then just as I'm about to like, okay, the song is coming to an end now. We can relax and enjoy it. Then he goes like super high. And then immediately... He takes you from heaven and drags you right down to hell. And then he lets you burn in that low note. It's absolutely amazing. I, I, I forgot how amazing he is with doing stuff like that. I mean, the last time that if I that I can remember the song that I did was uh, in Oogie Boogie, where he did a similar thing where he goes like very high and then low, low, low. But this is on, an, on another level. You can see that these three guys really grew. Um, in the time that I have not seen them and they were very very busy working hard it's it absolutely shows and I'm so happy that they have another team member now he is such a good fit so beautiful voice amazing energy it's absolutely absolutely awesome I, I'm so happy to see voice play doing this well again and they they seem to be thriving almost it's absolutely absolutely amazing fun song as well i have to say um i was never a, a big fan of the original i know the song i've heard it a lot of time and it is one of those songs that can get stuck in your head but i wasn't really a big fan but this this is something special it really is and only voice play can do that they yeah i i am I'm, I'm just left speechless i honestly sat here for a few minutes after the song just being like um I don't know what just happened. It really is amazing. But I'm very, very happy for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, tomorrow I want to have a look at some of the other artists that we haven't done yet. Uh, we did Home Free already last week. And we did Steven Martinez and the American Siren. So I'm thinking maybe a Jeff. I saw he did uh, Misty Mountains, which is one of my all-time favorite bass songs. And Jeff being Jeff, I know it's going to be... A rough one so i'll mentally prepare for that one and then we'll see how it goes i really want to have a look at maybe austin as well and 
Maybe the fox and the hound. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how the week goes. I don't want to say anything too soon. Maybe don't hold me to it, but um, we'll see how it goes. But thank you very much for watching as always. Uh, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to be talking to all of you amazing people, sharing in the good music, and it's just amazing. So thank you very much. And as always, tot morgen, tot ziens.